Hey, what's up? Welcome to day 18 of the 100 Days of Code video series. Today we're going to start on part one of three of a photo gallery app built in React. Part one is going to focus on the main UI. Part two is going to focus on being able to click on an image in our gallery and seeing a bigger preview. And part three is going to be integrating a dark mode with this. I'm going to be building this project in React. So if you're unsure how React works or need a refresher, be sure to check down below for a link to some helpful courses that we have on the site at teamtreehouse.com. And you'll be able to build your own version of this pretty quickly. And when we're finished, the series we will have completed day 18, day 19 and day 20. So today is day 18, so let's go get started with the main UI of our photo gallery app, built in React. Treehouse's 100 Days of Code Challenge is an awesome way to level up your skills as a developer or a designer. If you're new to this challenge or never heard of it, it's pretty simple. Build a habit of coding for 100 days in a row. This could be building out a new project entirely or just adding a new feature to an existing project, reorganizing your code or anything related to coding and development. The best way to stay motivated is by sharing what you do each day, no matter how big or small. Check out a link down below to our community discord where myself and other cool developers share their 100 days of code journey daily. Also check down below for a link to the 100 days of code with Treehouse to sign up for challenge reminders so that you never miss a day. All right, time to speed through me building out part one of our photo gallery app in React. Reminder, these aren't meant to be tutorial style videos, more so of just what I've been building for my journey through 100 days of code, but feel free to slow down the video if you wanna see exactly how I build things out. So it looks like we're finished and we have a pretty basic app here. We have the H1 at the top that says photo gallery and we have a list of nine photos that I got from Pexels. Let's take a look a little bit at the code. So inside of our app.js file, I have an import for each of our images and then I have a photos array with a bunch of objects that just have an ID and a source for our photo. This array is important because we will be looping through this inside of our app.jsx file. So on line 57, you see that we are mapping through the photos array and we are returning a div with the image inside. And that's how we get this pretty basic UI built in React. So stay tuned for episode 19, where we do part two of this build and we actually are able to click on an image and get a bigger preview. So I'm going to go work on that and I'll see you in that video. Peace.